like subscribe and leave a comment so here's your review of aew collision the week commencing the 20th of november i believe this is the collision before all full gear and he said all in there full gear but yeah because we're in england obviously so it starts with christian cage the tnt champion your father their father everybody's father he basically comes out he calls out sting so basically it's going to be sting's last match in aew and he also wants to end his career and basically says to darby allen when sting's gone you have don't have a mentor anymore come and see your father because he will look after you and then he also says to edge basically he says, look after, tell your wife and your kids to look after him because he's going to break his neck, apparently. And he's also going to take out Ric Flair because he is the system. Yes, Edge is, yes, Christian is the system. That's what he said. Um, then we have Ricky Starks and Big Bill announcing their match at full, at, yeah, full gear. I'm about to say, yeah, full gear, uh, which is actually a ladder match. So they announced it's going to be a ladder match. But obviously, I've done a review of full gear. Go and watch it if you haven't seen it already. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a ladder match. And they're going to leave because they're the best. Spoiler alert, they did win. Um, so then you have Miro versus Danny Garcia in a great match. It's actually quite competitive to what I thought it would be. But in the end, Miro got the victory. Then we have the House of Black versus some guys the house of black obviously won then we have a four-way match where the winner is going to face christian on rampage for his tnt title so it was trent it was brian cage it was penta and it was commander in a great four-way match go and watch it if you haven't seen it, it was an awesome match but in the end surprisingly trent actually won so that's quite surprising i thought then we have don Callis. basically uh he talks about how powerhouse hobbs is the guy and powerhouse hobbs talks about how his big He's black and he's jacked. That's an awesome catchphrase. That's an awesome one. I like that. Um, and he basically, it's coming for everybody. And he took out Paul White, who's a former champion. So come on, give this guy a world championship title shot. What are we waiting for? Then we have Wardlow versus some guy. Obviously, Wardlow wins. Then we have Dax versus Roosh in a really good match. Started off as a good match, but there was no winner because uh, Roosh was attacked by Ricky Starks. Then it would turn into a big brawl. Everybody's going to be involved in the ladder match. At Full Gear was in the match, was House of Black. Everybody was there. It's turned into a big, big brawl, basically. Then we had Buddy Matthews versus Wheeler Utah in a great match for this for, this, for the continental tournament or something great match but in the end buddy uh, matthew got the win then we had ruby soho and soraya versus chris statlander and shida in a great match obviously going into this match shida was a uh, aw women's champion chris statlander was a tbs champion Obviously, after the match, they both lost their titles, but she did, did get the victory here. Then after that, basically, we have MGF saying he would do whatever it takes to win at, win at full gear. Um, he will defend the tag team titles, the ROH tag team titles, until Adam Cole is back. And he will take out Jay White and he will go down as the greatest AEW champion. And did he win? Spoiler alert. Once again, like I said, I've covered full gear previously on my other videos. Go and watch it. MDF defends his title and he's still your AEW world champion and he's still your scumbag. Leave a comment.